What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to GNR Frank. My name is Francisco, and today we're going to go ahead and talk about the Philips SHP9500, but I'm not talking about the headset. We're going to talk about turning it into a gaming headset. Let's go. All right, so I want to say roughly a week or so ago, I reviewed the Philips SHP9500 headset, uh, uh, audiophile headset used in gaming. And the biggest distinction that this headset has from most gaming headsets is that it does not have a microphone to go with it. Now, one thing that you can do is that you can buy a mod mic for your headset and turn it into a gaming headset on the fly, which is what we're going to talk about today. So at first, I wanted to get the Vmoda mic, uh, the Vmoda Pro Boom mic or something rather, but it is completely sold out on Amazon when I've checked for it. So I found instead an Amazon alternative. So we're going to review the Amazon alternative right here. And actually, I got it, I got the package right here. I, I haven't even opened it yet. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Ready for some high quality ASMR. this tiny little box right here. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. And finally, here it is. Boom. So what this, what basically is going to happen here is, is I'm going to plug this part of the mod mic into the headset itself. And I'll be plugging this into my PlayStation 4 controller, my PC, into the actual mix amp that I have. And we're gonna test out how good of a mic this Amazon branded mic is and how viable it is to turn a headset like the SHP9500 into a gaming headset. Let's try it out, shall we? And just for reference, what you're hearing me speak to right now is my Shure SM58 microphone. It is an XLR dynamic microphone. So you're about to hear a very drastic difference in quality. So bear that in mind, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I went ahead and hooked up this microphone to my Philips SHP9500 headset, and uh, I've played around with it now for about uh, about a day and a half, right? So I got it yesterday and about halfway through the day. Uh, I've been toying around with it on PlayStation, on PC, uh, and three different ways of connecting it. So right now, you're listening to this microphone on this headset connected to my motherboard on my PC using the PC adapter that's provided. And I gotta tell you, I'm not one to typically buy off-brand things, if you will, and I know that sounds very snobby of me, but I particularly don't do that, or I try to avoid doing that when it comes to equipment. Uh, I feel like you get what you pay for, and it's just better off, you're just better off sticking to brand names that you can that you know and trust. Unfortunately, the Vmoda mics were all sold out on Amazon when I was shopping around for them, so I went ahead and found this one, and this is an Amazon alternative brand and i bought it i'll put the link at the bottom below for y'all too by the way i bought it and it was like 23 bucks super cheap uh i expected to get 23 dollars worth of quality but quite the contrary i've gotten a really good microphone here i'm actually very very surprised how clear and how crisp and how good this thing sounds so there's no pro post-processing i'm not going to edit anything uh the only thing i might do is raise the volume on the mic that's it i did notice that listening back to some recordings, it can be a little low, uh, but that's just something that you can easily fix. Now, don't worry, like when you're playing with this on PlayStation or on a console, you're not gonna be terribly low, you're gonna be just fine. But um, that's about the most I'm gonna do is probably just boost the volume a bit. Other than that, this is a very, very good signing microphone. I, I'm very surprised, I'm very pleased with it. I'm, I'm actually like incredibly surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I was not expecting this. I was expecting to have something terrible brought to my doorstep, today, but I am wrong. Um, a couple of things I do want to talk about while we're here is that the cable itself is a braided cable, so it's really nice quality feel to it. It does include a mic, uh, mic mute switch and a volume wheel, so you can turn your volume up and down, which by the way, when you're using a headset like this, they don't typically come with these kind of inline controls, so that's a really cool thing to get, right? Um, other than that, so far, if I had one complaint about this microphone is that the cable is, it could be a little longer. It's not short. 
Like it, it's fulfilling my needs as far as the length is concerned. That's what she said. But other than that, I feel like if, if I'm not careful and if I get up to go somewhere and I forget to have a headset on because this thing is that light, uh, I might be taking my headset and my tower with me. I don't know. So another half a foot might have been nice. I think this is probably about... Uh, I'll get the official measurement and put it here, but I think it's probably about a six foot head, six foot line, uh, six foot long cable. Sorry. So, but what you hear is what you get. This is how this thing sounds, and I think this sounds really, really good. So, let's try it out on the PlayStation 4 because there's two different ways that I'd be using it on a PS4, depending on what it is that I'm trying to do. So, let's go. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it sounds like on the PS4 connected via the Astro Mix Sam. This is what the microphone sounds like hooked up to the mix sam through USB to the console. Nothing plugged into the controller whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and swap over to hooking this up straight into the controller. And you might hear a big difference. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So now I've got the headset and the microphone hooked up into my controller straight right here at the bottom. And the crazy thing with this setup is, is that I'm not able to actually hear anything because the way that the, my, the PlayStation is set up, it does a really poor job of splitting audio. It can't really handle splitting audio across two different uh, wires, if you will, with the exception of optical. I can't hear this at the moment, but I'm going to hear it in post. But when I did this yesterday and I tried it out hooked up to the controller, it sounded incredible. But then when I played it back in Adobe as I was trying to edit the video the first time around, it didn't sound that great, but it sounded okay. Then I finally figured out my mistake with the Astro Mix Amp and I got that working and I tried it out and I felt like it sounded pretty solid right there too. The bottom line is this, is that this microphone for 23 bucks can turn your audiophile headset, like my SHP 9500, into a gaming headset with inline volume and mute controls. This right here, this headset was 75 bucks. This microphone was 25 bucks. Right there, you're talking about $100. Most gaming headsets at $100 or less do not sound as amazing as this headset does, and the microphones aren't as good as this microphone right here. I can't help but tell you that this is probably the route you want to go if you're trying to up your game in audio with video gaming. I can't recommend anything else really. I mean, there's some other headsets like the HyperX Cloud Core, I think is a pretty solid buy. And there's other things out there. And ultimately the choice is yours. But at the end of the day, if you're really trying to up your game in audio, if you're really trying to get some of the best experience out there, I can't help but recommend an audiophile headset like this one and just mod mic it. Like that's all you gotta do. Just get yourself a separate microphone like this, plug it into the headset, plug it into your platform or controller or mix amp of choice or PC, and you're good to go, period. So this is really exciting to me because I was not expecting this kind of quality from this microphone, especially being an Amazon brand. I was thinking I was gonna get complete and utter crap, but man, I, I, am I wrong? Because this sounds awesome. And again, it doesn't sound the best right now here, as, at least in playback, but when you, when you listen to your microphone, your audio as you're speaking in this test test screen hearing it in real time it sounds awesome it sounds really really good so maybe i'm losing some quality between recording it and uploading it and whatnot so i'm thinking that's where the audio quality quality loss is happening because other than that this sounds incredible it is a great buy if you can't find the vmoto mic if you can't find one of the mod mics this amazon brand one is a phenomenal option to go for Anyways, thank y'all so much for hanging out and watching this. I hope y'all found this very helpful. Thank you for everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, hanging out with me on my streams. Everybody who just stuck it out, man. I mean, it's been one hell of a journey. We're at like halfway through 1,300 subs now. Uh, my goal was initially 1,500 for the year by the end of the year, but looks like we're going to surpass that. So I wonder, I wonder if we can do 2K. If we can do 2K, that's going to be incredible. And uh, we're definitely going to have to do something to celebrate that. So until next time, y'all be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Peace out.